Joining me now is CBS News correspondent Weijia Chang. Weijia, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, it's great to be here. It's great to have you. Okay, tell us a little bit about the president's visit. What does he hope to accomplish? So this is an economic forum with leaders from countries in the Indo-Pacific, and the administration is really committed to showing that the U.S. is investing in this region, and it all comes down to China because the U.S. wants to strengthen its ties with the countries around China as it continues to compete with Beijing. And that's why this summit with Xi Jinping is so important, because you might remember this relationship has been really tense and communications went dark essentially after the U.S. shot down that Chinese spy balloon back in February and our defense secretary tried to get his counterpart on the phone uh, to say, hey, let's talk about this, and he couldn't get an answer. And so that is why right before leaving Washington to come here to San Francisco, the president said his main goal is to reestablish communications with China, with Xi, to make sure that, hey, if we pick up the phone and call you guys, you will answer. So I think that's his main goal when it comes to the president uh, of China. Now, of course, the war in the Middle East is top of mind during APEC summit as well. What do you think he's going to talk about with President Xi when it comes to the war, war in the Middle East and other world leaders? Well, I think that, you know, he might push Xi Jinping to be tougher on Iran um, because there is this concern that the conflict could spread and expand. Mm -hmm. And he's been watching, along with other administration officials, Beijing's reaction, which has not been as robust as they would have liked. Um, and so it is a tricky line, though, for the president. We saw that yesterday when he met with the president of Indonesia, who essentially called on the U.S. to do more um, to support a ceasefire. And so other leaders in the region might put that pressure on the president as well. And so he's in a tough spot. But not only is this conflict unfolding, but also the one um, in Ukraine. Okay. And so these two are the backdrop. The president wants to show that, hey, I can do all of this at once. I'm still invested in the Indo-Pacific, but he's well aware of how those two wars are playing into all of this. A lot of very tense and complicated issues that he needs to discuss and come to some sort of agreement or maybe understanding exactly. with the Chinese president. All right, Weijia, I know you have a very, very busy <laughs> week, but we're hoping to check in with you throughout the week to kind of get updates and your perspective on all these well, events. Well, it is my pleasure to be here. I love talking with you. I and, love seeing you. Uh, thank you for having me. Oh, it'll be fun to check in with you every day.